We're reading the Bollinger Band with indicator. If we're reading it right, we're either due for a huge rally up or a price correction. Which will it be? Um, <laughs> I guess um, there's a lot of um, considerations to take in, into play here. There's um, lots of moving parts within this industry and, and there's lots of moving parts within the economy as a whole. Um, I think um, given the current position, I guess, and the sentiment of, of where we are in the industry in, in the months, um, especially coming through Q1, I think you, you guys probably saw uh, Coinbase's Q1 um, figures from yesterday or day before, I think that was now. Um, we saw their biggest um, quarter to date, and we also saw, I think, they um, made more revenue in, the, in Q1 than they did in the previous uh, 12 months. Um, so, you know, we've at Coin Corner as well, we've, we've seen very similar. We've had the, our strongest months and um, certainly the strongest quarter uh, to date so far. Um, so, I think given that alongside, you know, you've got, um, we've got the retail starting to move in a little bit more now. We've got, um, I think, as, as you previously mentioned, mentioned with Sandra earlier on about the Institute starting to, to come on board now, the, the visas, um, micro strategies, uh, Square, um, PayPal's, you know, these guys are all, all starting to get, get on board now. They're starting to play with Bitcoin, starting to understand Bitcoin a little bit more now. Um, it's took some years to, to get to this stage, um, but they're getting there eventually. Uh, I think this this last you, certainly three to six are, months. What are you seeing? What are you seeing on Coin Corner? Are you seeing a lot of retail? I mentioned retail activity coming on. Are they holding onto their coins? Are you seeing coins being moved off the platform? Is that telling you anything about uh, price movements? Um, yeah, I think what, what we generally see is it's very similar to the other exchanges out there. Um, we are seeing uh, the retail starting to come into the market more now, uh, and we're starting to see. Um, older retail clients, especially coming back to buy more, um, so that the buys are, are certainly outweighing the sales at the minute um, in terms of volumes and, and quantity of, of um, individuals. Um, so yeah, we are seeing that more and more now, uh, and I think it's, it's a trend that we would, I guess, um, foresee continuing uh, throughout the next, next, you know, six to nine months. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Peter Thiel is warning that Bitcoin could be a Chinese financial weapon to challenge US dollar dominance as the world's reserve currency. You know, I'm not much into conspiracy theories, but I wanted to know what your thoughts were on the matter. I saw that you had tweeted about it. Um, yeah, I think um, one thing first to address is um, it's been taken, I guess, as a negative. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the case. And I don't think that was maybe his intention. Um, I think, yes, of course, you could consider it um, a Chinese weapon or, um, it, you know, why does it have to be China? It could be any country. It's, it, this is a, a global decentralized currency at the end of the day, um, asset that, that people are using uh, in the way they see fit and the way they want to use it. Um, so any country around the world could th theoretically use this as, as some, if you want to call it a weapon. Um, that in, in itself is just because of the, the US dollar being, the, the, I guess, the global reserve, asset, uh, global reserve currency at the minute. Um, and that is potentially what is um, Peter's kind of highlighting that that could be a risk. Um, he's not highlighting this, in, I guess, maybe in a negative way, but more in the way of um, trying to highlight to the U.S. government that, you know, these guys, you know, you, you need to wake up and, and play to the strengths. You need to kind of go long on Bitcoin and, and not um, stand and wait for everybody else to do that, that same thing. Uh, Danny, just one last question. What is your price target for Bitcoin by the end of the year? <laughs> um, <laughs> I always try to avoid uh, price predictions, um, but I, I guess um, the, the general uh, one of my ones I, I did recently um, was kind of a uh, analysis based off um, a collection of everybody else's uh, predictions for the year and then taking the average of that. Um, so it was kind of an old traditional method to, to weigh up a prediction. Uh, and that came out at, um, I think it was about $230,000. Um, so, you know, that's that's in my head as um, my um, global consolidated uh, prediction. Fascinating. All right. We're seeing a lot of people making big predictions by the end of the year. So that's definitely <laughs> up there. Thank you so much, Danny, for joining us. Thank you, Christine. Thanks for having me.